Okay. We are going to adjust a K100 from uh, from Caro to diesel. I already did it, but the camera didn't record, so we're going to do it again. And uh, so I won't actually have to change anything this time. This is your startup screen, trim low. So we're going to press the up arrow once, then twice. That'll bring us to our menus. There's four four menus. The one all the way to the left is our start menu. That's where we want to be. So we press the, the, the down arrow because it's underneath start. So that brings us to start up parameters. That's where we want to be. We press the up arrow. Pump start point, auto one. They recommend auto two. Uh, we can leave it on auto one. That usually results in a cooler start. Pump start ramp, five. They recommend 10. So I don't know why that is so low. We can go ahead and put it closer to the recommended and we'll leave it there. Then we'll just cycle through everything else until we get down to pump PW at ignition. Here's your pump PW at ignition. Set at 18, I already put it down to 18. If you're running Caro, you're gonna find this a lot higher. This will usually be around 23 or 24, sometimes even higher than that. If you're running diesel, you wanna lower this. This is your, this is your the amount of fuel flowing into the engine to get the fire started. When you hear that pop, if you don't hear that pop, then your, your ignition feels either too low or I've also seen it to where it's too high and it'll actually blow the flame out and you won't get a flame at all and you'll just have fuel dripping out of your engine. So that's at ignition. So that's good, I already said it, so we'll keep going. RPM preheat, you want that around 6,000, that should be decent. If it's a little cooler out, you can actually tune that down even more. Uh, RPM, that's fine. This is the other parameter you need to change if you're going from caro to diesel or back and forth. Your preheat, your preheat fuel percent. Uh, for deep, for uh, caro, this is gonna be a lot higher. This is gonna be a lot higher. And uh, for, pre, for diesel, you're gonna wanna turn this down. Uh, the book recommends 18. I found usually a setting of around 20 is usually pretty good. If you find that you're getting a really hot start at the beginning of the start, which is the preheat, if you watch your terminal while it's starting up, it'll say preheat. If you find that you're just getting too much fuel, you can turn it down. Um, and you can usually go one or two clicks at a time until you get the start you need. If you find that your start is just dragging on at the beginning of the start and it's just not heating up very much and it's taking forever to go through the preheat process, you can turn that up just a few clicks. You usually go one click at a time so you don't get a hot start. And after that, that should be the last parameter you have to change out. Everything else, and there it is. Everything's good. And that's it. And it saves with which button? <laughs> You don't push anything okay. to save it. You just you just cycle power, and it's done. Okay. That's okay, it. Cool. Thank you, Chris. It should start like a champ now. Uh -huh.